Hello Lillas, welcome back to my channel guys. This is a new, 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 new change from, I know you guys have been seeing Nori, 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 and I thought I would bring on my big girls. I just put them in these little, I guess, I don't know, long johns, I don't know what you want to call them. Um, the funny thing is I originally got one made for Taraji. But I really was only trying to get it, it was supposed to be from here down, just into like right here, just to cover the cloth part because her cloth is white and I didn't want to keep, you know, touching it and then have like a dingy tinge to it or anything. You know, even though we wash our hands, our hands sometimes still carry some type of oils. And just even from the clothes and the dye. So I was trying to get that done. And then it uh, embroidered with my nursery name on it. But the um, the person that I was working with, um, she ended up doing the whole piece thing and the embroidery. And I thought it was cute. So I was like, okay, well, this isn't what I wanted, but I like it. So I was like, okay, this could be like a cute little thing for pajamas or underneath to protect her from, you know, die from pain or whatever. So then I said, okay, I went back to order two more because I did a custom or a private order of a Ping Lao baby. And I wanted to send that one home with that one. So when my order came, which was a big bulk order of stuff, my, um, the two came, but they didn't have any embroidery on it so I was like oh oh well um but I was just thinking like just now I was like oh well I could put it on my girls and they can use it for their like their pajamas or what or whatever and so um I think it's cute on them so I really like it I like it's a different material than the last one and so I thought it was really cute um so it worked out um I'm one of those people I pick you know I'm not like totally fussy fussy especially when it's someone that I've worked with with numerous projects and you know people are human sometimes the communication goes left or whatever and so you know anyway but yeah so I thought I would show them I don't show my toddlers as much um but I do love them and value them look at that little girl every time i i think i could let this one go i just can't i can't let her go i love zora um and pipe piper over here she had to get her little selfie in i i know that you guys can't really see piper as much and it's i've learned that no matter how much i try to put the lighting right on these babies and stuff like that there's just little things about the painting of these dolls that you just can't see on video or camera it's just it's just one of those things we could try as hard as we might but it just don't work out sometimes like, uh i got lights coming from all direction um let me see i'll open the window sometime that take out the shadows a little bit like the shadow that was on zora's face is not necessarily there. I was going to put their hair in a whole bunch of little ponytails, but I can't seem to change that either. I like it bushed out right now. So I'm really, really enjoying them. Um, Zora has an open mouth, and so she can take a modified pacifier. I really love that about uh, that sculpt and that she could take the modified pacifier because I really have fun with that sometimes. Just clip the nipple and go. I love when kids can do that, the vinyl. But did she just move? <laughs> and like you guys, let me see if I take her off. Take take this off. Like, let me get at a good angle. Like, see, like it made such a difference, in my opinion, on how the sculpt looked from the angle. Like, see, from there, I didn't, I don't like it as much. But then, like when I get to lower it down closer to like her face, you'll see she's so cute in the face. And um. They both have brown eyes, but Zora has darker brown eyes than Taraji. You probably can't see that on camera. Let me see. So yeah, you can't you can't see that. I tried. Yeah. 
So anyway, and then this little one, um, Piper and Taraji actually have the same color eyes. Let me see. I'm holding the camera, guys, so I'm sorry if it shakes a lot or you guys get dizzy. Try to get the light over on her. Mm, not focusing. Hang on, maybe. Mm, still not focusing. Let's see, maybe, maybe now. I don't know. I I just wish you guys could see what I see when I look at uh, Piper. I really love Piper. Um, Piper is one of my most favorite paintings. Um, I know it sounds crazy to say that. Like some of my babies, I love their painting more. And sometimes it's just weird things about them that I like. So don't mind me when I say that. Because sometimes it's something so stupid or minute. I hate to say stupid, but it, it sometimes is really stupid. Like, it could be like, ooh, I like the way the belly button is. The whole rest of the baby could be just plain Jane, but, oh, I love the belly button, and it become my favorite baby. Like, I'm very weird. Or, ooh, I love the way the ears turned out. Oh, that's my favorite baby. Or the eyelids or something. It's just so crazy how it works. It's, it really is. Um, Zora, I was so proud, so, so proud, because I don't know what's been wrong with me lately. But when my babies come back from me and hair, sometimes I lose like completely the bond with them. And I was like so worried with Zora because Zora was a, definitely a comfort baby for me. As big as she is, she is definitely a comfort baby for me. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like what's going to happen if she come back at it all? Like, I don't, it's not that I don't like the hair. I don't like the baby no more after it's rooted. Like it seemed like the, it changes. So I was like, what if, what if, and all this, and I actually loved her more when she got her hair. So I was like so happy about that. So I guess that's just one of the things. Also, my rooter actually liked Zora, and she had like a cool story um, about Zora and um, that she shared with me uh, She as she was rooting. Someone saw her, root. she was like rooting in the car. I don't want to tell all this, the whole details of, everything but basically she was rooting her had her head with her and she was rooting her she's in the car and um some kid saw her and she thought she thought Zora was real the kid thought Zora was real and she kept trying to speak to her and stuff like that and she was trying to see I guess what she was doing so I think sometime because I was rooting Jaden um at my clubhouse one day and the lady said she thought I was just playing in his hair. So I don't think, because they don't know what we do or anything like that, I guess she she didn't see the needle. Because I'm thinking, like, if I see somebody poking something in the head, I'm going to know for sure that can't be real. There's no blood, no nothing. But I think they just see the hand moving and they don't really, they're not looking at it with, with eyes like we are. I, I'm sorry, I got to put Nori over here to see. What she looked like laying in between them. I know. Y'all sick of me and Nori. Hey, let's see. Let's see, Nori. What you gonna do in between the two of those people? Look at Nori. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to move her. Like, she totally just made them look like dolls. I think. <laughs> Did she? <laughs> it's like, oh, look at my dolls and my real baby. I don't know. That's just me in my mind. Maybe. That's the thing about silicone too. The the um, the medium itself gives off another look. But I'm telling you, I wouldn't trade my reborns for nothing in the world. I love I I love my silicone, but I also love my reborns. Like I I just feel like you know I I look I think back to some of the things I used to say and stuff. I know I I didn't think I was being snobby, but. <laughs> I guess it did kind of come across like a know-it-all or a snob. Like, it'd be like, yeah, um, my silicone is just the same. I don't have no issues, da 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 Well, they are. I do, like, 
handle my silicones as much as I do my vinyl. But I do think subconsciously there's a bit of relief and ease when I handle my vinyl babies versus, you know, like subconsciously I am being a little overprotective of my silicone without me even putting an effort, I think, if that makes sense. Like I, I, I think I'm being the same, but in the back of my mind, I know, okay, this baby is soft. I can't put it on this. I can't do that. And with the vinyl babies, it's like, oh, girl, let me get you dressed. Let me put you over here. It's like, it's like easy going, like a smooth flow. So I, I know a lot of people are starting to replace out, you know, people are saying I'm not painting vinyl no more. I'm not, I can only say I'm not painting vinyl for to sell as much right now until I actually start one day rooting vinyl myself, but I will always paint vinyl for myself. So I don't, you know, and I'm kind of sad a little bit that a lot of artists are switching over because that means that it's going to be less and less, you know, reborns out here. But, you know, I can understand people are, are, are being market scared and, you know, so they're just gravitating towards the silicone. The silicone is going to be the new thing, which means it's kind of good for collectors because the prices is going to stabilize. So all those ones that's way, way up there, I don't think they're going to be able to get those top, top, high, high prices anymore because it's going to be so much competition out here and so much, you know, I mean... I mean, keep in mind now, it's a million people painting vinyl, so don't get too excited. So set your little pants down on the calm for a minute. Because if you think about it, how many reborn artists it is out here, or people that call themselves reborn artists, or whatever the case may be, painters out here. And think about how many it is, and then think about the ones that's at top tier that's getting $7,000 for a reborn. It's still not that many, and they're still able to get that amount. So... Uh, I think the the real the ones that have something unique and truly special, or already have a name for themselves, I think they're gonna still grab those prices. Unfortunately, I think. But for some of the newcomers, it's gonna be a little bit more. You know, some of us baby boomers is that what we are? Um, silly boomers. <laughs> we gonna um, it's it's gonna have to be like a good level playing field. Um, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get interesting here over time, but you know, I'm here for the ride. See what happens, you know. Um you just can't put all your money in, you know, one bank <laughs> account or what do you call it? all your balls in one basket or however it go, whatever they say. Um just in case you be one of the ones that don't really, you know, float to the top. Well, wait a minute. If you float to the top of me, dead. Okay, just forget it. I'm not good at the analogies today for some reason because y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Y'all get it. Okay, good. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's that's that. I know my videos. That's, I think that's part of why I can't never come up with a good title for my videos because my videos are always all over the place because I don't think of a topic before I start recording. I just be like... Only thing I think of is like what dolls I want to show. I put them on in 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 the crib or wherever I'm going to record them. I turn on my lights, I turn on my camera and I go, "Okay, hello Lola's," and I just roll with it. And whatever I want to talk about, I just start talking about it. I may start talking about eyes and end up talking about, you know, a whole nother subject. So when I get ready to go for the title, first of all, I don't forget what I said in the video, and I'm like, um what title and I know that's a bit to do for how you get a lot of views is you gotta have a catchy title you know a lot of titles that I've seen are like very click bait -ish. like I'm like eh, I don't even it's not even that deep this the, the video wasn't even that great I thought this was gonna be a deep topic and I'm just like yeah um so now I just save those type videos for later to look at later when, on my leisure because no need to run to those, right? Because you know that the title is just kind of like just to draw you in to listen. So, I don't know. I, I just for those that out, that's out here that really is trying to grow your channel and trying to get your views, thumbnails and 
Um, great titles really helps you with the algorithm and people stopping to view your, your videos and your channel. I suck at thumbnails and I suck at titles, so <laughs> it is what it is. But you never know what you're going to get when you start listening to my videos. That's just how I've always been across the years. Um, and before I go, again, I am just in this mood where I just want to thank everybody for always supporting me, always supporting my channel. Um, those that have bought my work, I really appreciate you guys. Um, definitely, you guys have definitely help me keep moving forward in my process of learning and growing and exploring. Um, also, you know, I want to say to some of the people that have like some of my older dolls and maybe looking at my work now and saying, oh, she's really grown, this, that, other. Sometimes some of my old, older work is my favorite work too. So um, it's not necessarily that your, your baby is necessarily outdated, but also... I think it's a classic and I also think that it's amazing when I think of some of my customers that have bought from me when I was selling my dolls for like $75 or $150. It's, you know, it's amazing. So, um, and that's another thing. I didn't just jump out here and just skip over phases. I've been going through every step and process of growing. I, you know, from the price, from the work, um, a lot of people had reached out to me at one point of time when I was, you know, kind of starting to get better and was like, you need to up your prices. You know, I'm like, uh-uh, <laughs> I ain't there yet. I got to accomplish this or that before I go to the next price point. And I think I'm kind of like settled right now. I don't feel the need to, that I need to be charging any more, any less, honestly. Um, and every now and then I like to sell my babies like a little cheaper than normal, just because some people be like, I want one, but nah, it's a little too pricey or whatever. It just give people chance, whatever, or just fun. It's just nice to do it, and I get a kick out of it. If I, I keep telling people, if I ever hit the lottery or I get rich, I'm just gonna make babies and give them away. <laughs> but I gotta be doing something to keep my money keeping me rich, cause you know, you know, you only have to if you're a millionaire, like you only have one million dollars. If you spend one dollar, you're no longer a millionaire. Isn't that sad? So I have to do something to keep, keep, you know, I would have to invest in something that keeps the money going, but I would give away a lot probably. Anyway, that is it. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think on anything that I've talked about. Hell, even if you want to tell me if you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.